Welcome to the North Western Pacific Basin in 2018. Allow us to take a moment to reflect on the past, providing insight to the formidable capabilities of this incredible basin. Typhoon Lion Rock wreaked havoc across northern Japan, causing $3.4 billion in damages and tragically claiming the lives of 550 people. The aftermath was a stark reminder of nature's unforgiving power. Now let's zoom ahead to 2017 and see what this year brings us. In August of that year, Typhoon Hatu, the strongest storm to hit Hong Kong and Macau in five years, brought damages up to $6.4 billion and 24 fatalities. Will the 2018 typhoon season sustain the trend of destructive storms seen in the preceding years, or will it register a decrease in landfill activity? To find out this question, explore the 2018 Pacific Typhoon Season animation as analysed by Force 13. Agency finally had named this uh, depression as mentioned tropical storm Unia. Update on Super Typhoon Maria, which has become a Category 5 Typhoon.
latest on Typhoon Sulik, which has stalled in the last 24 hours before we anticipate it's going to move towards the Japanese islands. It's a Category 3 right now on the Sapphire Simpson scale. This is what we expect according to the GFS model, which isn't too different from all of the other models right now. It's going to strike probably within 24 hours, maybe later on. Latest on Typhoon Jebi, which is about to make landfall imminently on the island of Shikoku as a Category 2 by our estimate. According to the Joint Typhoon Warning Center, they think it's even stronger at 180 miles per hour. We don't see much evidence of that quite, but it's a stage 10 on the CDPS scale, the highest possible rating. And this is what we expect on the forecast track in the next few days according to the GFS model. So an eventual landfall, possibly on Shikoku, may be uh, further towards the east um, and then pushing through towards the northeast. And then look what we've got behind it later on this week. Tropical storm at the minute, tropical storm probably going to become Typhoon Kong Ray, which could move through the islands again towards the end of the week. An endless supply chain of storms at the minute it seems. And that's another one that we're going to be watching over the next few days. Could be one for the Korean Peninsula. Latest on Typhoon U2, which could be rapidly intensifying at this time. Force 13 Live, it's 10pm in the Philippines and we are currently tracking Typhoon U2, which is continuing to approach Luzon. Uh, now a Category 3.
become an ultimate fan today.